Okay, back again with uh, Norton's rescue. I so put on my SD card. I looked at the files and I looked at the boot menu on the, before I took it out of the computer, and it looked good. So um, let's see how it does. What we get out of this. Well, of course, we'll get that first. All right, let's. Um, at least I'm getting this part done. Take it out of that slot. It's in the bottom slot now. Put it in the top one. So, and then if you've got an AS block with the auto BIOS uh, for your bootable media, then uh, and it won't recognize it on you, then. Uh, that's the trick I've figured out. Just halt it. And uh, I didn't do anything and it just sat there and waited. Well, that's good. I thought it was counting down. I really never paid a lot of attention. Um, anyway, halt, take it out, put it in a different slot, and then uh, control alt delete to reboot. <coughs> it's hard to do with one hand, but you can do it. Just try really hard. Unless you have really short fingers. Mine are not really long, but they're not really short either. <clears throat> okay, well, it's counting down. You only got a few seconds. Looks like you had about 10 seconds. Okay, so. Now, this is kind of what unit booting usually looks like, just real basic. So, it had some of that higher and stuff, but it was something wrong. I probably, I might have messed it up, or else I've got a bad ISO. Let's see. NVRT default basic video. Okay, boot from vocal drive. So I'm going to go default. See what we get. She, she may work. It may. Lately, I've been having to go and do basic video on almost all of them. Okay, this looks good. You're already seeing the graphic welcome screen here. So. Um, This one's, um, you know, pretty brand new, so some of those others, they're, like, say, Norton, uh, I mean, not Norton, <coughs> well, here it is, let's see, <coughs> hang on, <coughs> okay, <coughs> I thought I'd at least put it up there <coughs> while I was coughing and hacking, okay, yeah, mouse works. Norton Boot Recovery, select language English, accept to tell all them you're first born and your all the money you've ever saved up for retirement. Agree? No, because that's not what it says, right? Okay. Well, I had to hit agree or it wouldn't work, right? Okay. Um, run full scan of your computer. Can resolve any security risk. Known risk will be removed automatically. Then you can choose what to do with items identified as potential risks. Okay, well that's all right. At least I get to. And there's no other menus. There's nothing. There's a help. I thought I noticed that it said it sounded pretty doggone automatic, which is fine right now because I'm. As long as it gives me a chance to decide what to do with the, uh, when it's done with some of the other stuff. Of course, anything that's considered a no virus is going to be gone, but that's good. That's what I want. If if Windows could already have been broken a scan or two or three ago, I don't know. I have, I don't want to boot into it till I feel like it's clean enough to try booting into it. That'd be my big a big mistake. You know, whatever's left behind would just spread throughout the machine again. So uh, it's updating protection definitions instead of saying virus definitions like everybody else says. At the bottom it says virus definitions. Virus definitions current as of, and I couldn't read it because I stuck my phone up in the way, to show it to you. Thing is when I put my phone up there closer to the screen, I probably can't hear what I'm saying very good at all maybe, who knows. Um, current as of Thursday. May 26, 16. That's a long time ago. So yeah, they should be updating to 
September 4th or whatever it is, 5th today, 2016. So that was that's when that that was the last time that image on that I downloaded was updated. Then was May 26th. But some of those, oh, uh, like uh, Kepper Sky, that was made two or three years ago. But it does uh, the program's getting kind of old. But it uh, by definition is do update. But it wouldn't even run on this machine, probably because it's too old to run on this machine, on this motherboard. BBA Rescue wouldn't run either. It's kind of made more for older, um, lower resource machines anyway. Doesn't even have a graphic interface, other than like a couple of, a little wizard at the beginning. It's graphic, it's not just text. But uh, it's taken a while. So, uh,. Thought maybe it would happen pretty quick. I don't know why virus definitions take so long to download. They're not that usually generally that big. They must have slow servers because I've got 60 megabits down and 4 megabits up on my with my ISP, and uh, you know, just a few. There it goes. In just a few minutes, I can download three gig or whatever. 100 megabytes is you can sit there and watch it tick down, you know. So let's see what it's doing. I think it's scanning. <coughs> yep, scanning progress. Total file item scan is sitting right there at 175 right now, and it's in the recycle bin right now. Yep, if there's anything in there still that needs to be cleaned out. Some of these programs actually put them in the recycle bin. Some of them put them in their own quarantine folder. They all do different things. So like if I run another one later, sometimes it'll find it in the recycle bin and delete it. Or put it in its quarantine folder. Something I gotta remember. Make sure and empty the recycle. Uh, really what I like to do is go and manually empty the recycle bin before I boot into Windows. Unless the last one I ran let me know that it already did that for me. It's hard for me to keep track of all that stuff. Okay, so. Well, it's already up to 225. Doesn't seem very fast, but it seems looks like it's going to be thorough, though. But, uh, you know, there's going to be... Uh, it was counting down how many files it scanned in F-Secure, and I don't even remember. I know I remember seeing over 15,000. So, uh, all the operating system files and all the files I have on there, well, I don't have that many. And, and the programs. I have plenty of programs on there. Okay, so let it run. Come back. It probably could take anywhere from at least an hour, probably three hours or so. So I'll come back and, uh, see what the report is when it's done so I'm gonna see if I can get around and get outside I need to do some work on a project out there so uh, that'll be good all right let's do it come back later <laughs>